How's everybody doing? Reverend Colonel here. Uh, just want to give everybody the latest update on my wife. Uh, physical therapy is going very well for her. Um, she's like no longer needs a wheelchair and she can walk and she can even shake a booty a little bit. So <laughs> she had to show us that she could do that. But anyway, um, she can stand for a few seconds really good and she's getting her strength. Uh, oxygen level is doing good. They've turned her oxygen way down. Um, she's got all her cognitive stuff. She's back to her own self again. And uh, that I just truly praise God for because that was a miracle. And she talked to our doctor today and uh, she called him up because he's been tracking and watching everything and they were like shocked and surprised that she was doing so well because they weren't sure she was going to make it and uh, you know uh, I, you know I really didn't want to say a whole lot you know but uh, it, it, there was a point there where her making it or not making it was like touch and go best way I can explain it touch and go uh, but I you know I I worried I guess a little and had some you know I guess or that fear that the devil tries to stir up in you but I knew that she was gonna make it um, you know God just he just put it in my heart to stay faithful and that she would make it and that she would be fine so anyway um, I'm I'm actually not surprised because our God is so big and he promised me that he would be with me every minute of my life and he just put it in my heart that she was going to be okay and just keep praying and just keep my faith and that she would be okay and you know um, God's good man he is just so good because there will was a point there where her oxygen was just so low that you know who knows what could have gone wrong she could have never come back or she could have been brain dead or you know all kinds of stuff so um, you know I am just so happy to have my wife back I'll be even happier when I have her back here at home that's what I'm really anticipating. So, hopes and prayers that she does really good with her PT tomorrow. And if she does super duper good with that, like she has been, they have a meeting on Wednesdays. And they will look at her case and decide what they think about her. And there is a potential. There is a potential. She could be coming home as early as this week. So... Uh, at least by the weekend that would be really nice uh, I'll just uh, I'll throw her a party you know I'm going to invite a bunch of people she doesn't need all that right now but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something special for her I am I'm going to do something special because I've missed having her here at home so bad I can't even tell you I mean it's just you know, count your blessings, people. You know, if you've got a spouse that loves you, uh, or your children, or whoever it is that you share your life with, count your blessings every second and cherish every single moment that you have because you, you, you don't know what might happen you you don't we, we never dreamed anything like this would happen in our lives and it 
could have been a whole lot worse and you just never know so everybody stay in the word be faithful my puppy dogs have just jumped up here on the bed behind me I think they're ready to go to bed and so I guess I better start getting myself ready for that direction too so stay in the word be faithful to your reading listen to God listen to what he has to say pray 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 diligently all the time be praying and continue praying for my wife and for me and our family as we conclude this episode and that everything just keeps going like it is so uh thank you jesus this is the way reverend colonel signing out